This is a great hand motor activity if you have beads and putty. So this putty already has beads mixed into it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate removing the beads from the putty using only one hand. So my, my helper hand is not helping with this. We're using just our main hand. We might start by squeezing and warm it up and start to warm the putty up so it's a little easier to manipulate and move. We're going to start using our fingers to pinch. Feel where the beads are, and then once we've found them, we can keep pinching. Good, I've worked the first one out. So, when you get a bead all the way up to your fingertips, so put it, put it into some kind of container so they don't roll all over the room. And then go back to keep finding more. You'll really be using your pointing finger and your thumb a lot for pinching and pushing the bead. This is really good for working on intrinsic movement of the muscles of your hands, which is really important for activities or skills like handwriting. We have, on our hands, we have primarily two sides, the power side and the precision side. So the precision side is the side with our thumb and our pointing finger opposed, where we can do fine motor and skilled tasks. It does also sometimes include that middle finger, that can really be helpful for There's some tasks that need a little extra stabilization of the fine motor parts. And then the ulnar side of our hand and the pinky side has these two fingers that are really good at helping with stabilizing. So like if we're handwriting those, those fingers curl into our palm and they stabilize while we're writing and moving our fingers to manipulate our pencil or our crayon. And this activity really, really works both sides of the hand to do their job, to do their stay wise for the older sides, the most of the putty. And then for the radial side, for our pinching side of the hand, we've really got our thumb, our pointing fingers, and our middle fingers getting in there and helping to work, push those beads out. See how many beads you can get out of your putty? If you got more than a few. If you've only got a, a few, it can be fun to put them in, take them out, and then challenge yourself to see if you can do it faster. You can set a timer. You can compare how fast you do it with one hand compared to the other. So if you're only doing it with one hand, I'd say primarily do it with your dominant hand, the hand that you use for your handwriting. All right, have fun.